Good morning again, guys. All right, I want to throw this out there. And y'all think about your own situation. <clears throat> How's your job? Making enough money to make ends meet? Yeah, okay. Getting a little tougher, ain't it? I want to give you this. Bloomberg put a report out yesterday. Okay, again, Bloomberg. Uber left, Michael Bloomberg, you know, the whole nine yards here. Headline of the story, one-third of Americans making $250,000 a year live paycheck to paycheck. <laughs> I'm kidding you not, all right? Now, personal thought, that is complete mismanagement of your household finances. The median income in the United States is about fifty grand. Okay, so these are people that are making five times the average and living paycheck to paycheck. I got a great idea. Get out of the damn McMansion you own, sell the Tesla and the Land Rover that you own, and start living within your means. These are the people that, when this economy blows up, are going to be the biggest threat to everybody. Okay? Because they're the ones who are addicted to their five dollar a cup, five dollar a cup cup of coffee in the morning, and don't know how to make one themselves. These are the ones that rely on Uber Eats because you know they need a recipe for ice. <clears throat> That's the problem. Okay. But here's the bigger problem, and this is one that. I'm going to go against the grain with, with most people. I'm trying to think a little bit further out. We have this huge, huge problem with illegal immigration. Illegal immigration, okay? A lot of people say we have a problem with legal immigration, too. Now, I think you all know I don't have a problem with legal immigration, i.e., I married a legal immigrant and helped her get here. Okay, so, yeah, coming here legally, I got no problem with. Coming here illegally, I got a huge problem with. But everybody keeps saying that the reason that the Biden administration wants to bring in all these illegals is so they can increase the Democrat voter base. I completely disagree, all right, and here's why. A vast majority of the illegals that come into the United States are from Mexico. The second largest country is El, Sal El Salvador, <clears throat> and Mexico has about five times the people that come in from El Salvador. The vast majority of Mexicans are Catholic, so and very devout Catholics. So excluding the idiot that is the Pope right now, Catholics aren't real enthralled with the liberal policies. So bringing in a bunch of illegals, I don't see how they're figuring that these are going to increase the voter rolls for the Democrats. Plus, they're illegals, so they can't vote, or at least shouldn't be able to. Now, the reason that the Biden administration is all for bringing in all these illegals is to drive wages down. There's no question about it. All right. The more people that you bring in that don't have skills, the more you can suppress the wages of American citizens. All right. And you've all seen this. How many companies do you know of that, you know, Hey, I can pay Joe Illegal or Jose Illegal, you know, $7 an hour, the minimum wage, and he's absolutely thrilled with it. And you're going, I've worked here. I want more than $7 an hour. And they're going, sorry, I'll just replace you with an illegal. Y'all know I spent many time, many years in the IT business. Okay. I've become persona non grata because I refuse to work for com companies that required our friend, but uh, yeah, apparently nobody really wants to bring me on board anymore because apparently I'm trouble. <laughs> Go figure. But uh, 
their their fault. I was actually pretty damn good at what I did. But uh, yeah, this is the problem. So let's bring in all these foreign workers that we can get cheap, i.e. bring in all the Indian IT guys that I was adamantly against, you know, put the Americans to work. Oh no, the Americans want too much money. So let's drive down the wages. Why? Because it's the easiest way to get rid of the middle class, which is the entire goal of the elitists. They want the kings and queens and the serfs, okay? That's it. They don't want a middle class. A middle class threatens them. Look what I was telling you guys about yesterday about Klaus Schwab's menu. Do you honestly think that the Bidens and the Gates and the Bezoses of the world are going to eat seaweed and cactus and everything like that? Hell no. Okay. They're going to continue eating their, you know, steak and lobster dinners. Somebody really got on me about escargot and Chianti, but <laughs> that's okay. I thought it was kind of funny. Are they going to eat that? No. They're pissed that Joe middle class can afford to eat basically the same food they do. Now, granted, I've never eaten a Kobe steak in my life, okay, or uh, anything like that. But, you know, I like a good piece of red meat. doesn't have to be $495 an ounce or whatever the hell it is. But this is what they're trying to do. If they can reduce the wages to everybody then we have no ability to fight back. Do you see that what the pattern is here? If you have no resources, if you don't have the proteins, you don't have the strength to fight back. If you don't have the money, you don't have you can't afford the resources to fight back. So therefore, you know, while they're running around with their assault weapons, we're running around with sticks and stones. That's the idea, guys. And this is why they are bringing in all these illegals and bringing in all these immigrants, all right? Because that will drive down your wages. Now, I'm going to give you this. Right now, there are, according to the uh, Center for Immigration Studies, okay, not a government agency, there are 47 million foreign-born people in the United States, combined between legal and illegal. That means 14.3% of our population was not born in the United States. We have only been at that level at one time in history. And that was not in recent history. Okay, obviously, you go back to the 1700s, everybody was. Okay. In 1910, we're at 14.7% of our population. You had the mass influx through Ellis Island. And what proceeded to happen? For the next 60 years, there was a pseudo moratorium on bringing people in. By 1970, 4.7% of our population was foreign born. And then everything went crazy. And we started climbing and climbing and climbing and climbing. Projections right now are by 2060, okay, which, guys, is only 38 years away. Okay, We're not talking long. I might still be around, God willing, if I make it to 93. Okay, I might still be around in 2060. Projections are that we will be at least... 69.3 million people, or about 17.1% of the population. At, right now, we're at one in seven. One, one person out of every seven in this country was born in a foreign country. By then, it would be one in six. This is how we wind up losing the country. This is, I mean, we talk about all the time about states... Oh my God, don't bring your, your Democrat, you know, blue state stupid ideas down to Tennessee, to Florida, to Texas, whatever. You ruined your state, don't ruin ours, okay? What about on a national level? Don't bring your communist ideas, your 
impoverished ideas, your whatever here to the United States, because that's what happened. You know, you come here without skills and gimme, gimme, gimme. And that's what happens to the country. That's how we wind up dying as a country, not physically dead. I mean, how the United States ceases to exist. All right. This is the thing. I mean, the government says we're holding steady at 11 million illegals, which I find absolutely hilarious because the government also says we're bringing in 145,000 a month on average, okay? You know, when you get independent studies saying that we're actually somewhere between 14 million and 22 million illegals, I have a tendency to think it's at least the high end, if not higher, all right? Again, you have to remember, all those illegals who don't pay taxes, and I know people say, oh, they pay sales tax and everything like that. They don't pay income tax. Income tax is the federal government, okay? Sales tax is state, all right? And states, a lot of the states are broke anyway. Look at California and all the illegals they have, and they're still broke, okay? But federal tax, the stuff that goes to pay for, oh, I don't know, all the social programs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. They don't pay federal tax. We pay for it. So we're getting double whacked. Not only are we paying for all these illegals, but it's money that can't be used to improve the lives of Americans. Talk about this whole infrastructure bill that everybody pushed for a year. You seen any bridges getting repaired? Seen any highway, highways getting repaired? No. Okay. It all went to pet projects. Okay. It all went to let's pay, let's build more projects for, uh, poor people, stuff like that, i.e. illegals. This is the problem. I, like I said, I have no problem with legal immigration, but don't be fooled believing that the reason that the Democrats are so pro-illegal immigration is because they want to better their lives. No, they want to better their own lives by worsening yours. Good well out.